vectors this is a very common uh, question that is tested and we want to look into this question get to understand um, a few uh, details on how it is being worked out now before we start calculating this question I would like us to read the instructions and insert the necessary information where possible in the diagram below OA OA is given by vector A so we are going to have vector A here OA line OA then OB is given by vector B we have vector B here then the point the points Q and R are such that the two points Q and R are such that AR AR is in fact a third of AB it means that from A to R the fraction um, uh, the fraction here is a third and the whole of AB is in fact um, three it means that the remaining part RB uh, here we have two uh, which is going to make a total ratio of three that is why we are saying AR is a third of the whole line then OQ is two thirds OQ from here to here is two but the all of this line is three it means this is two here and then one is up there then we have another information that OX is in fact H of the whole line which is in fact OR and then we have BX which is um, given by K of uh, BQ um, the first question uh, reads express OR and BQ in terms of vector A and B so we are going to express OR we are going to express OR we are going to express OR in terms of vector A and B so let us start OR OR so we are moving from O all the way to R remember O is our origin before I forget O is our origin it means that uh, this is uh, the starting point and then we'll move to other parts now the arrow this one shows the direction it is important for you to know where you start um, uh, simply because it will help you to use uh, the operations well so OR we are starting from O and we are moving to R which direction are we going to use let us use OA so we will say OR is OA plus AR of now the whole line which is AB AB we proceed by saying that OA is given by vector A plus AR which is in fact a third AR is now a third of AB do we have AB? we don't have so let us find AB so for you to move from A to B you will have to use this root which is in fact you will use a O and this time round you are going against the arrow so we are going to have a negative here plus O B which is vector B so we have A minus a third A then plus a third B uh, when we put the like terms together we get this one to be 2 over 3 A plus a third B and this is our O R. that is our OR let us proceed to uh, BQ BQ we are starting from B we are moving to Q and this time round we are going again is the arrow so uh, we will move from B to O then O Q of O A now this is negative B plus 2 over 3 um, what is O A is vector a and we are done with that part 
we move to the second part that reads express OX in two ways. So there are two ways in which you can write OX. First, you can go direct by saying OX is in fact H of what? H. You can go direct by saying that OX is H of OR. So we are going to say that OX is in fact H of OR. We already um, worked out OR, so we are going to, to replace whatever we found up there in this bracket by saying H into our OR is in fact 2 over 3 vector A plus a third vector B. We can open the bracket and say OX is in fact 2 over 3 H vector A plus a third H vector B. So this is our first equation. Now the second equation, OX, we can express, we can write OX in another way, in another way. So OX, let us go back to our diagram. OX for us to reach at point X, we can move, we can decide, we can decide, we can decide to move from O to B and then from B to X and then uh, of B Q. Now we are going to say that OX, OX, we are going to say OX is in fact OB plus BX of BQ. And what is OB? OB is given by, by vector B plus OB is given by vector B plus BX. Our BX is in fact K of BQ. What is BQ? We already have our BQ here as negative 